My name is Matt Saunders and I teach anthropology and I'm the International Research Project Coordinator at Davidson Day School. Davidson Day is one of the few schools that I know of that actually has an anthropology uh, course on the curriculum. The, the value of anthropology, I think, is it's a very holistic uh, science and I think it's important for our students to understand the world around them, especially in today's uh, global environment. And it, it really wake, it, it opens the eyes of our kids and lets them see things from a more global perspective, not just what they hear here locally. Uh, they they look, at, look at topics that are constantly being discussed from a global perspective. And, and I think it gives them a better perspective on, on the world. The, the most important thing that we feel the kids should get from these projects is, uh, is really just the experience itself, going outside of the country, going out of their comfort zone, uh, experiencing the scientific method firsthand. Uh, there, there are just certain things that you can't teach in a classroom, and, and allowing kids to participate in, in these real-world applications at such a young age is so valuable. We aren't necessarily trying to teach kids to be career archaeologists. That's not our goal. Um, but I think just the experience, I think getting outside of the country is so valuable in, in itself. Uh, but doing it with a purpose, I, I think, is sort of what makes us different. Well, FAR was formed in 2007, and it was a year after our first year of research in Cal, at Cahopetch in Belize. And it was really formed to help students who couldn't afford to do research in, in Belize at the moment. Uh, we, we formed it to actually create a, a nonprofit to enable those kids to do that. The main difference is the two projects, the one in Spain and the one in Belize. Obviously, the sites are different. One's a Maya site, one's a medieval, medieval Spanish castle. Uh, but the biggest difference, uh, the, the environment's much different. Uh, we actually let our middle school students apply to the Spain project before, and the, the high schoolers are the only ones who can apply to the Belize project. Spain is a little more um, westernized, so the kids are a little more comfortable with the environment. Uh, the, uh, the, the actual physical environment is a little more forgiving. Uh, in Belize, it is a third world country and it's very hot, it's very sticky. Uh, so uh, those are the biggest things. The methods themselves, the archeological methods are very similar. There are a few differences, but in both projects, the kids are doing the, literally from research to report writing uh, every step of the archeological process. Mr. Saunders is a much different teacher than most just because he brings an enthusiasm to class and he, and he brings passion to not only the subject material but making sure everyone stays entertained and engaged in class and the assignments um, and the lectures, all of it's always uh, very engaging and very fun and I think it's a great balance between um, classwork, uh, teachings, lectures, exercises all sorts of things and I wasn't able to take his class this year but um, having both of his two uh, courses throughout my high school career it's it's been great and it's been he's been one of my favorite teachers. Well Belize it was an experience unlike anything I've ever done before just because it is so different and obviously we're learning a lot about a culture that's been gone for years and it's great to uncover all that but also a huge part of the experience is just creating relationships with native Belizeans, people that work with us, um, professors in the field and professionals within archaeology. So just creating the relationships and, and building those bonds at such an early age is just something that I'll be able to bring anywhere I go in any field. So even if I don't do archaeology in the future, I'll be able to um, bring the experience and the relationships I have from doing this uh, into my future life. I mean, it's a 13th century castle in the middle of nowhere and you're, the only contact you have is with the people that you're on the trip with and the two main archaeologists who are in charge of the project and you get to be in control of so many things and you get so many responsibilities. I thought we would go and we'd spend hours and hours learning how to do this stuff and that the experts would be demonstrating what we should be doing but we really just kind of were like hey this is what you do and then just go and do it and so we're expected to really work hard and figure out how to do things on our own.